Hello, everybody. Hey, today we're going to do the uh, follow-up on the 12428 WL Toys. And uh, I had some suggestions on lowering the center of gravity, so we're going to do that. I, I went ahead and modified the factory wheels so that the wheel extensions worked with the factory wheels. And I got pretty happy with the uh, results on that. So, um, And then I'll go over something about the magnetic mount on the GPS. So. I'll uh, throw something in there somewhere to show you how it works and, and how effective it is. Didn't really want to show you how effective it is the way I show you, but you'll see what I'm talking about in a little bit. So let's go ahead and get started. Since the uh, test with these tires worked out as good as it did, they made the, the truck taller. And since it's taller, the wheel extensions didn't help as much. I need to put these on here, but the holes wouldn't accept these lugs. So that's what we're going to do today. You can see the difference in the size of the tires. And you can see the, maybe see the difference in the size of that hole. Since this needs to go through there, we're going to drill these holes out just a tiny bit. Okay, this piece is 0.196. I found a drill bit. It's 0.197. So that should give it enough room to move. And then you can test fit this, and it's a real nice fit. It's loose enough you can turn it, but not loose enough it flops around. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to put uh, the GPS on top of this with the big tires and uh, get a GPS speed on it just for fun. We'll put the other tires back on it and do a GPS speed test just for curiosity and uh, see what the difference in speed is between the factory tires and these tires. We got uh, the GPS on here. What I'm going to do today just for general curiosity I'm going to run it for the speed with these big tires on here. I just freshened up the battery so uh, I'll run it with the big tires then I will I actually drilled out the other tires I'll run those and we'll see what the difference in the speed is I took the spare tire off the back I was gonna uh, put the battery down lower but the suspension won't allow that to happen so we're just gonna do it like it is we're showing 3.3 uh, that's just my walk out here We'll see what the top speed is, do the tire change, and retest the top speed. Whoa! I think that's probably enough. Okay, we got uh, 24.8. See if that's coming through that I think it is. All right, we'll put the other tires on it and we'll try it again. We're gonna put the stock tires on here and I'm going to freshen up the charge on the battery just to be sure.
Okay, I like the looks of it better with the other tires, but this isn't all about uh, looks, it's about performance. Okay, got the factory tires back on it. Uh, again, 3.7 3 for the walkout here. So, turn on the radio, turn on the car, and we'll see what she does. And I expect it to be a little slower than it was. But keep in mind, there are two sets of gears or three sets that come with the car. So if you wanted, see that's 23.7. So um, this comes with two sets of gears. Keep saying two comes with three sets of gears there's two extra gears is what I'm trying to say so if you wanted the car to go a smidge faster you could uh, you can go in and, and change the uh, gears out make it a little faster uh, it comes with the middle gear installed and I don't remember the number of teeth but uh, it comes with the middle gear installed from the factory so go you can bump it up one tooth or down one tooth uh, to give it a little more power or a little more top speed with or without the small wheels, big wheels, whichever ones you decide to put on there. So uh, I think what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take the GPS off just in case I roll it over and I'm going to bash it just a little bit and we'll see what, uh, see if it, it turns over as bad as it did before. The spare tires off to lower the center of gravity, put the wheel spacers, I think they're 15 millimeters with the factory tires back on it. So, pull my GPS off. You know, here's the danger of neodymium magnets. I uh, let the magnets pinch my finger. That's how strong they are. For the people that haven't seen uh, the magnet mounts that I build that's on the back of the GPS and uh, what I did do mess my finger up I was trying to do this with one hand and I meant to this you see the magnets are embedded in the steel plates so my intention was to stick the steel plate to one of the magnets and it got away from me and it went magnet to magnet with the GPS and my finger got caught in there in the process how I did it to my <sighs> that's not part of the plan <sighs> just pull my skin off anyway as you can see those magnets are extremely strong and what I do if I can get this off of here that's why I don't put them together like that. What I do is I put this one inside the car and I put this one on the roof of the car. It doesn't uh, generally come off. So anyway, that's my magnet mount. Wasn't part of the plan. Got a neighbor coming so I'll let them get by. Okay, I'm turning under power. That would have definitely flipped it before. Yeah, that's with the with the factory tires and the wheel spacers. Absolutely, uh, absolutely an improvement.
I could not do that with this car before. Absolutely no way I could have done that before. So, all right, I'm, I'm going to call that a success. So if anybody's got one of these, the 15 millimeter spacers on there uh, makes a huge difference on this car. And I realize I'm not going to bleed to death from that, but <laughs> I'm going to go clean up. So I appreciate everybody. I'll catch you guys down the road.